in previous class we have discussed about the inductance calculation for single phase two air system with scanded conductor and a bundle and the inductance of bundle conductor now today we are going to discuss about double circuit transmission line so our new topic that is inductance of three phase double circuit transmission line now three phase double circuit transmission line there are two types of line double circuit line so first one is called three phase double circuit line with symmetrical spacing or uh, hexagonal line okay and the second one is called the three phase double circuit line with unsymmetrical spacing that is flat vertical type so hexagonal type line it is uh, just like shown in figure here it will makes a perfect regular hexagon so we have two lines two transmission lines side by side and it will make a perfect regular hexagonal shape and the flat vertical type or unsymmetrical transposed line with the double circuit line the figure the circuit is just like this uh, here we have two parallel lines they are placed like this and this is transport it has three sections section one two and three now the transmission tower of hexagonal type line it is just like shown in figure and for that vertical type it is shown in the figure that is red yellow blue in the left side and blue yellow red in the right side okay so two uh, three phase line it is running side by side or it is taken parallel like this for flat vertical and hexagonal line for hexagonal line it will make a hexagonal shape and for flat vertical type it will make a uh, it is placed vertically all the conductors a b c or a dash b dash c dash they are placed vertically first i am going to discuss about inductance of three phase double circuit line with symmetrical spacing and it has hexagonal shape or it also called hexagonal type double circuit line now as shown in figure you can see here you can see here we have two lines side by side now x phase in one one line on one circuit and x dash phase in the another circuit this is phase suppose this is phase red red phase next i am going to draw the yellow phase so phase y and phase y dash these are the yellow phase and blue phase that is your z phase okay as encircled by the blue circle that is z and z dash phase it is the other the third phase that is uh, b phase okay so these three phases in two circuits they are placed like this and it will make a perfect hexagonal shape so after making an hexagonal shape it is just like this picture x y z for the first line then z dash y dash and x dash this is for the second line so here you can see the x phase in the left hand side it is taken upward in the top position and in the other line in the left hand side transmission line x dash phase similar phase it is placed at the bottom okay so after making it's a perfect hexagonal shape we are taking the all sides of this hexagon that is taken d that all distances are taken d d distance figure so you can see here x 
to y and y to z that distance must be equal to d this distance is taken equals to d and similar phase that is x and x dash x and x dash they are taken at a distance 2d they are taken at a distance 2d 2d distance then tell me what will be the distance between x and z now this distance that is the root 3d how it will come suppose suppose if we consider this triangle x z and x dash if we consider this triangle so x x dash that is 2d by using pythagoras theorem if we take like this 4d square 2d square that is 2d whole square that is 4d square okay that is 4d square minus z to x dash distance that is d square that is taken as d square so if we calculate this what we get that is root 3d this distance must be equals to root 3d so x to z distance must be root 3d similarly x to y dash distance suppose this distance x to y dash distance it is also root 3d it is also taken root 3d x dash to z dash this distance also root 3d okay so in this way in similar fashion we can easily find out the distances in between the conductors so next we are going to discuss about the inductance calculation before calculating inductance now this is the figure before calculating the inductors i'm telling again we are considering three phase double circuit line placed at the vertices where the conductors are placed at the vertices of the regular hexagonal shape as shown in figure here we are taking x y z one circuit one on the three phase line and x dash y z dash and z dash another three phase transmission line side by side we are taking this side by side so first of all we have to find out the flux linkages so we are taking x phase or x conductor as a reference so if we consider x conductor as a reference we have to find out the flux linkages due to all currents through the six conductors due to all currents in the six conductors okay so lambda x first find out the lambda x so lambda is what will be the expression that is 2 into 10 to the power minus 7 first consider the similar phases first consider the similar phases that is x conductor and x dash conductor so what we get for this that is i x current will flow through uh, x and x dash so this all conductors have have having radius r and here the current same current will flow through a uh, x conductor and i x conductor so i x current must flow through these two conductors equal because they are parallel line so what will be the flux linkages for self current that is i x ln 1 by r dash plus ln 1 by 2d because the distance between because the distance between uh, x and x dash is taken 2d distance therefore it is taken like this next you have to find out the flux linkages for other phases suppose if we consider y phase suppose if we consider y conductor this y conductor and y dash conductor now what will be the distance this y conductor it is placed at distance d and x to y dash this distance i am already tell you that in previous slide that is root 3 into d this will be the distance so after taking 
this i y current i y current in y phase and y dash phase what we get i y ln 1 by d plus ln 1 by root 3 d in similar fashion we get z and z dash it will come i z into ln 1 by d plus ln 1 by root 3 d so this is the overall flux linkages in for x conductor now in this part we can see here the i i y and i z portion okay so here ln 1 by d plus ln 1 by root 3 d this is common so you can take the next step you can take i y plus i z into this common term ln 1 by d plus ln 1 by root 3 d now for balanced three phase system what we know for balanced three phase system i x plus i y plus i z equals to zero so from this equation what we get i y plus i z equals to minus i x so if we place this minus i x in this equation in the previous equation instead of minus i y if we put minus i x then what we get minus i x we get minus i x so from the previous equation what we get minus i x into ln 1 by d plus ln 1 by root 3 d this will change like this okay next slide in the next slide we are taking the previous equations again we are writing it again so this is the equation so first ix then minus ix and this minus ix so how, how we get that is iy plus iz now if we take ix common or if we simplify it what we get that is 2 into 10 to the minus 7 ix ln 1 by 2d r dash minus ix ln 1 by root 3 d square after that we get 2 into 10 to the minus 7 i x l n root 3 d square divided by 2 d r dash if we can 1 d will cancel out in numerator and denominator and final expression is 2 into 10 to the power minus 7 i x l n root 3 d divided by 2 r dash now this is the flux linkages for x conductor for all 6 current through the six conductors now from the definition of inductance we get lx is equals to lambda x by ix and it becomes 2 into 10 to the power minus 7 ln root 3 d divided by r 2 r dash so this will be the inductance for conductor x this will be the inductance for conductor x so now as the circuit is balanced, it is taken in balanced condition. What we consider Lx must be equals to Ly equals to Lz because this line is symmetrical. So, this is the inductance for hexagonal type double circuit line. In the next part, in the next lecture, we'll discuss about the flat particle type transmission line thank you